Welcome to our update video for Display Studio for fall of 2020. This video will take a look at Display Studio versions 2.23 through 2.25. Those were released between June and December of 2020. Let's take a look. One of the first updates you'll see is the right-click menu on a button in Display Studio. There's been some additions to the list and the list has been a bit reorganized and gotten a facelift. You'll see one of the new features is the ability to map a hotkey to a button directly from this right-click menu. So if you choose the hotkey option here on the right-click menu, it will immediately open the hotkey item in the bottom right-hand corner to allow you to assign that button to a hotkey on the keyboard. So choose your hotkey, hit save, and you've got your hotkey much quicker. This also works for the Ross Talk and the PBUS widget. If your system is equipped with that feature, you can quickly assign either PBUS or Ross Talk depending on which platform you're using. Similarly, just like the hotkey. You'll also notice there's improved drag and drop functionality when you use a button to drag it to any of these two uh, items for hotkeys or for triggering. So assigning the button to a hotkey quickly by dragging it over the hotkey flame in the bottom right hand corner rather than having to browse to the key or to the button using the hotkey feature. This works very similarly for the Ross Talk plugin. Choose your platform and drag the button to the interface. Another new feature you'll notice in the monitor wall in the top right hand side of Display Studio, you'll see there is a group option. This allows us to set different groups or pages of monitors in that space at the top of the screen. This becomes a drop down list as you create groups in the monitor wall. To create a group, you're going to want to right click on the monitor wall, similarly to how it's always been done in the past, choose properties and you can then create new groups by hitting the plus sign on that upper right section. You can also rename your groups to fit with the names of the displays in your facility. And then you can choose the displays or the zones to add to that assigned group. When you're finished, hit save. And you now have drop downs of groups for your monitor wall. So you can organize monitors much cleaner across the top of your screen. You'll also notice the shortcuts, the keyboard shortcuts, Control 1, Control 2, which are quick, easy access for these new pages on your monitor wall. Switching into Content Studio, one of the big new features with these releases is the fixed width digit spacing. This button is directly below the font size in the Home tab on the ribbon at the top of the screen. And what this option does is it creates a fixed width font out of any of your custom fonts that are installed in Content Studio. So any font that's in the list to be used as a font can be created fixed width. And this really helps with things like game clocks when you're going to align the text box. Sometimes on a game clock, if you center align a font that's not fixed width, what's going to happen is the clock is going to jitter or shift when it gets down to typically less than a minute when there's tenths of a second going very quickly on the clock. It causes a bit of an undesirable shift to the clock. So hitting this button will allow you to smooth that out and it will auto align so that the characters are all equal width, thus removing the jitter in the clock when it's center aligned. For information on updating your system to include any of these features, feel free to reach out to your Dactronics technical representative. You can also use the My Support portal to submit an update request.